Hey, welcome to Doodle Clubhouse. This time on this episode, we're drawing Bowser's Castle. So we're going to start out with the uh, base structure. And then once we have um, the structure, we can go in and add some details. Right now, I'm starting with uh, Bowser's shell, which will be at the top of the castle. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Um, if you don't have that ability in your digital paint program, don't worry about it. Uh, just work with what you got. Or you can uh, re always redraw things. I'm going to be hopefully coming out with a list of... Uh, good digital paint programs for uh, all the different platforms that you might be on. So I'll try to uh, come out with a video that recommends good digital paint programs that are free. Alright, so we got the shell at the top. Now we're working on the rest of the structure. And then we can go in and add some windows and some doors and stuff like that. And if you're new to this channel and you like art videos, um, feel free to join the community. We uh, put out art videos every day. Uh, just hit that subscribe button. All right, so we're adding these little um, blocks like a castle would kind of have. And then we're going to color in our structure. Color it in solid gray. Uh, make your brush bigger if you can and color it in. Uh, so you can color it in quicker. Try not to miss any spots. All right, so I'm going to grab a slightly lighter gray and there's going to be a gray box or a gray rectangle right here. And then a slightly darker gray. And there's going to be well, a little bit lighter than that. There's going to be another rectangle here. And a rectangle right here. And same with the other side. Okay, um, we're gonna grab a black and we're gonna start adding in some, uh, some lines that will define our picture a little more.
just so uh, it's going to make a little more sense. We can make more sense of it and then know where to add. Um, oops. We'll know where to add the windows and uh, doors and stuff like that. So we're going to create these kind of towers on the end and well uh, two towers on each side and then uh, little pointy towers. Right, almost in the middle. And if you stick with me till the end of this video, this is all going to come together. Um, and it will look like Bowser's castle. Um, so yeah, hopefully you uh, get something out of this video. We're going to start adding our pointy green rooftops and there's one and then one down here And we are kind of changing it a little bit. Uh, might be a little different. Um, it's very slightly different than uh, the the Bowser Castle. Uh, at least the reference image that I'm looking at. I'm just. Uh, Changing it slightly for my own taste. Um, because sometimes it's fun to switch things up and try to add our own style or our own twist to uh, things, to our drawings, instead of it being a direct copy. So you can feel free to, uh, you know, add or subtract or change whatever you want within your drawing if you're following along. But this is like 99% the same um, as the original Bowser Castle. Pretty much the same as the original. We're adding these black lines. Um, it looks like they have like little lights or little uh, fires on them. And I'll zoom out um, in a sec so you can see everything 
um, at a smaller scale. Couple lines down there. Couple of windows. There's going to be three windows uh, right here, and then the same with the other side. Three windows right here. So basically, the only thing I changed is uh, this green rooftop was supposed to be here. There wasn't supposed to be a green rooftop on uh, this side and this side down here. But other than that, it's 99% uh, the same as uh, the reference image I'm using. Okay, um, I'm going to add the door. Actually, we'll start with black for the door. And then we're gonna add our red, uh, looks like this like red bars, almost like a cage is on the door. Zoom out a little bit. And it's really going to come together once we add the spikes on the shell. And I think I'm going to save that for the end. I don't know why, it just seems like my favorite part of the drawing. So I try to save the best for last. Sometimes uh, I do that with my characters' faces. Um, Usually, uh, the way I was taught, you start with like the eyes or the nose on your character's face. Um, but sometimes I like to save that for the end. I like to like get the body and the the characters like clothes and stuff like that drawn first, and then I uh, finish with uh, drawing the face. We're gonna, we'll save uh, the character talk for another video when we're drawing characters. I don't wanna confuse you guys. Um, I'm gonna put two windows here and two windows here. And I'll make this one a little bit bigger. And then it looks like there's a little Bowser statue right here. So I'm going to quickly draw that. And hopefully it resembles Bowser a little bit. Yeah, that's close enough. You know, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and just fix this part of his uh, mouth. There we go. And we're going to draw a couple more windows and then we'll add some lights 
like some little uh candles i think is what's going to be on these big bigger black lines and then we're going to be pretty much finished we'll add some spikes to the to the bowser shell I'm gonna put some little windows on these end towers. And I'm gonna grab a dark brown. Actually, I'll grab a, a lighter brown, almost a yellow, and add some uh, details to these windows. And if you guys haven't uh, seen my Mario Castle video, I drew uh, Mar the Mario Castle um, a couple days ago. So uh, you can go ahead and check that out if you liked this video. Just going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to add the shell spikes. Now this spike's going to look just like a circle because it's pointing directly at the uh, sort of at the camera or the viewer. But the rest of the spikes will be pointing off in different directions. And two on two more on this side. And Bowser's shell is coming along. And if uh, you're wondering what I'm using to do this, I am using Photoshop. Um, you could probably get a free trial or you could, uh, find your, uh, find another digital painting app that's free. Um, I do know one artist I follow on Instagram uses only MS paint and that's a, uh, free program that comes with almost every windows computer. So you could use that and uh, get the same effect because we did this all on one layer. It's a pretty straightforward drawing. You just have to start with the base of the castle and just follow along with the tutorial. Um, I'm going to add some highlights in a couple places and then that's going to be um, that's probably going to be the end. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of uh, lava in front. Because uh, Bowser's castle is surrounded by lava. Which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, I'm adding a little uh, yellow dots or yellow lines to resemble uh, as if 
these are like little flames. that are on Bowser's castle. Okay, I'm gonna add the, the lava. First I gotta create sort of a ground that the castle would be on. And I'll zoom out in a sec, one second. Um, and you can see the picture at a smaller scale, so it's uh, kind of easier to take in. And this is going to be the lava. And I'm just going to create the outline and then color it in quick with a bigger sized brush. And there you have it, guys. Um, Bowser's Castle. I'm just going to add a couple mountains in and around it. And one more here and it's gonna that's that's gonna be the end of the video right after this mountain um that will be the end of the bowser castle drawing if you liked the video leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button um, other than that thanks for watching um and we'll see you next time on doodle clubhouse